Now, uh, Wait, so who's coming? Sorry. Okay, no, I'm just saying, I'm just okay, talking. Okay. I'm just like, he wanted to try me uh, to to uh, to debate me on atonement, yeah? Now, I say to him, you have to understand that the Muslim atonement is different than the Christian atonement. So this is was the 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 agreement why I would debate him as long as we understand that the Muslim atonement is different than the Christian atonement. You want to start the debate? Yeah. Yeah. You go ahead. Okay. Okay. So. Sorry, I have to sit down. Yeah. All right. Bismillah. You go. Okay. Oh, you're in short. We're in short, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so uh, as a born again Christian, right, founded on Judeo Christianity principles, Deuteronomy 19, verse 15. Deuteronomy 19, verse 15 it says, By the mouth of two or three witnesses, let the matter be established. Now, the point I want to make, my friend, is Muhammad needed atonement, but I'm not convinced that Muhammad received atonement. Okay. So, when I look at the person of the Lord Jesus Christ, Surah 19 verse 19 says, makes it very, very clear that Jesus was perfect. He was pure. Name me one person in history that was perfect, that was pure. One person. One person. Are you asking me now? You no, want no, me to no, answer no, in my own time? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Surah 19 verse 19 makes it very, very, very clear. Okay? Now, I'm listening to you, yeah? yeah? So, Surah 3, verse 45 says, Remember when the angel proclaimed, O Mary, Allah gives you good news of the word from you. His name will be the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, honored in, his, in this world and the hereafter. And he will be one of those nearest to Allah. There is something amazing about Jesus. Something amazing about Jesus that Muhammad does not come close to With respect, I'm not going to insult. Yeah, yeah, go respect, ahead, go ahead, okay? no problem. Because yeah. I'm using your own words. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, not, yeah. No, no, no. Insult. Look, just go ahead, okay, okay, go ahead. Okay, you don't have to okay, say okay, to... Okay, uh, okay, no, no problem, go ahead. Surah 40, this is the reason why Muhammad needs and still needs to this day atonement. Okay. I believe according to your own Quran yeah. that he was a sinner. Mm -hmm. So, Surah 40 verse 55 says, So be patient, O Prophet, for Allah's promise is certainly true. Seek forgiveness for your shortcomings and glorify the praises of your Lord, morning and evening. Mm -hmm. Surah 40 verse 55. Barakallah. Okay. Surah 48 verse 2. So that Allah may forgive you for your sins. Are you going to be, are you gonna be here for a while? But when I ask you for uh, uh, for reference to the Bible, can you get it me, please? Uh, it's just like if I say to you, it's my first time here, and I don't know how to play. Oh, but no, 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 it's, you, know, Google, you know how to use Google, Google yeah. yeah? So if I say to you, for example, uh, get me the, uh, like, uh, um, what you call it. No, 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 I'm listening to you, I'm listening to you. It's like, it's like when you do search, if you say, yeah, like, uh, or if I say, uh, Jesus, uh, something, you just uh, you yeah. to Google and that. Exactly. For your shortcomings and yeah. for the sins of the believing men and women. Yeah. Now, there's something called Tawbah. Okay, Tawbah, yeah. Tawbah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you basically, yeah. you work for your own salvation. Yeah. Right? Which is um, atonement for us. Yeah, yeah. and that's your yeah, atonement. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the yeah, that you have. Yeah. But according to the Bible, according to the Bible, we have a, we have a perspective on this. Isaiah 64, verse 6. You have to finish in a bit, okay, yeah? Finish. Okay? Yeah. Don't go on and I on because it's too, too many, too much for me to uh, that, to remember and to... Uh, that, that, stop with stop okay. With okay. Isaiah 64, verse 6. It says, Bismillah. All our righteousness... All our righteous acts 
are like filthy rags. So how can you bribe your way to heaven? Through Tauba. And that's what it is. Last point I want to make, according to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. Salvation is a gift. That's what we believe. Salvation is a gift. The fact that we can even make it to heaven because the Lord Jesus Christ shed his precious blood on the cross, okay, which is what a Messiah should be, right? That blood that was shed according to Leviticus is the gift is the gift that we all should take so that's what i thought okay now is there a timer or? no 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 timer no someone can time you can time uh, you if can you've start. got a timer you can start time yeah, oh okay well it's it's okay yeah you, you've spoken yeah uh, yeah it's okay yeah okay now for bismillah rahman rahim wa salatu wa salam ala ashraf al mursaleen sayyidina muhammadin wa ala آله وصحبه إلى يوم الدين وعلى من تبعهم بإحسان كذلك إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Our friend in here spoke about atonement but he instead of speaking about the Bible atonement he went to the Quran which is I don't know why he went to the Quran he should have spoken about his own atonement however however he said one thing, which is, I don't know why he said it. He said that Jesus, there is no one as flawless or as sinless as him. Well, he doesn't read his Bible properly because according to the Bible, John, John the Baptist, there is no woman that bore somebody as flawless as John the Baptist. Was the, sorry, was John the Baptist was John the Baptist a sinner? No. Another thing, another thing. Why did Jesus need to be baptized? Only the ones that get baptized are sinners, according to Christianity. However, Jesus needed to be baptized. They will say, "Oh, he needed to teach," but John the Baptist was teaching. He was doing it. Why did he need to? Unless if he really was a sinner and he needed to be to be baptized for his sins to be forgiven. Another thing, the whole Christian dogma is built on the sin of, of Adam السلام, in, in heaven. Now when you read the Bible, we read that the son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. Not, and so how can the progenies of Adam bear the sin of the father when the Bible itself says that you shall not bear it? So this is another point. As to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and as to the Muslim teaching every son of Adam when he's born is born on natural inclination. That means sinless, sinless. Since they start to be, we start to be accountable once we reach puberty. Hence, hence, Allah, hence the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says that, that there is no sin on a person that is asleep or on the majnoon or on a sabi hatta ya'qil on on a child until he reaches puberty so this is the atonement then he then our friend in here touched about that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had shortcomings now our shortcomings sins they are not sins a shortcoming is a mistake for example you can tap someone or shortcoming are not sins they are mistakes that one give however however he didn't read the passage that says that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam all his before sins or coming sins are forgiven which means that he is sinless but it's not said in the actual that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a sinner 
because prophets are infallible for the for 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 the Muslims. We say that Ibrahim is infallible. All the prophets are infallible. Ma'asum. That's what we call ma'asum. Now, the the uh, I'll finish now. Now. We know that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from the Ahadith, he used to say, Inni la astaghfirullah akthara min sab'ina marra. That I seek forgiveness from Allah more than 70 times. But seeking forgiveness from Allah, it is not because we forget we are, we are sinners. I can make forgiveness to Allah because I didn't remember Allah as I, as I should have uh, remembered Allah. That I didn't stand the night prayers as much as I should. That I didn't fast Mondays and Thursdays. So this, my istighfar, is making up for things that I haven't done, but they are not sins. If I don't, if I don't pray, for example, the Sunnah of Sobh or the Sunnah of Dhuhr or of Asr or of Maghrib or of Isha, is that a sin? It's not a sin. But when I say, when I say, when I make istighfar, it means these are the shortcomings. I might be preoccupied by work, by educating my children, anything that could take me away from this. So this is, this is why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Astaghfirullah, as to the Tawbah, I will stop here, okay. Inshallah, because I've given you a few things to, to do. Five minutes. Oh, you want to okay. Five minutes, yeah? Okay. So firstly, so firstly, Sheikh, you made a grave error. And Sheikh, unfortunately, you have embarrassed yourself. Because you said shortcomings does not mean sin. So what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to help you, Sheikh. I'm going to go to the dictionary to show you the definition of shortcomings. Oxford Languages says this. Shortcoming means a fault or failure to meet a certain standard. Typically in a person's failure, failure. to on, make, on, to meet, no, 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 hang on. Let me finish. Okay, no, okay. No, okay. Typically in a person's character. Now, what are the synonyms of shortcomings? What are the synonyms? So, alternative words. Deficiency. Vice. No vice. Yeah, yeah, we know vice. No we know vice. We know vice. We know vice. vice, yeah. Okay. It but cannot be a sin too, and I'll explain why. Failing. So vice is not a sin. No, some vice cannot be no, sin. Vice is not a sin. Some vice cannot be a sin, and I will explain why. You can laugh. I'll okay. explain okay. why. Law, imperfection. These are synonyms. Be honest. Let's be are they? Are they? Are they sins? Are they sins? Are they sins? Are they sins? They are not sins. Okay. You're talking about sins. Okay. What, what about in, you Sunni? I'm Sunni, yeah, okay, alhamdulillah. Man, you're going to bury yourself even more. Yeah, okay. So, Sahih Bukhari. Yeah. Number, book number five, uh, 54, number yeah. 506. Mm -hmm. It says, the Prophet said, when any human is being born, Satan touches him at both sides of the body yeah. with his two fingers. Yeah. Except Jesus, the son of Mary, who Satan tried to touch but failed. For he touched the placenta cover instead. So, Jesus what, 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 what hadith is that? No, what hadith is that? Sahih al-Bukhari, give me the number of the hadith. I said, I said, what, number 54? Number 54? No, I'll just read it. Yeah, Sahih al-Bukhari, number 54. Know, you're shake, you're shake. No, 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 no. No, you should know this. I'm getting personal. No, I'm not saying, no, I'm saying he should know this. Nothing personal. No, I'm, I, I don't, okay, look, okay, look, I don't nobody. know the hadith. But I do not know okay, the no. number of the hadith. Okay, do you expect okay, me no to know all 4,000 hadiths? No, no problem. No. no, problem, no problem. Okay. So the point I want to make is the distinction between Muhammad and Jesus. Jesus was not pricked. Every other person was pricked according to this hadith. I read it again. The Prophet said when any human being is born, Muhammad was a human. No? I know the hadith. I know the hadith. I know the hadith. I know the hadith. Jesus is not divine. I know the hadith. Okay, no problem. But we see that Satan touched him at both sides of the body. So every man is fallible. Besides Jesus. Ain't that amazing? Ain't that interesting? So when I say to you, you should not trust Muhammad because of his sins, I'm saying it because of a basis of the hadith, the sunnah, the ummah, 
Oh, you've got your phone. Habibi, Habibi. خذ لي لا لا خذ لي الحديد إلا خش بالعربي إلا ابن عيسى وأمه إلا عيسى ابن مريم وأمه تحت عقيد سي حديد إلا عيسى ابن مريم وأمه when we look at um yeah all right let's go to surah Uh, uh, check the time, please. I think the five minutes are over. Uh, all right. I'm just going to make one more. Okay, one he's got 30 more. seconds. You've got 30 seconds. Go ahead. Yeah, no, go ahead. You still have got 30 seconds. So I'm trying to remember some of the things that you Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So Surah 2, verse 285. Okay. I just want to lay the foundation, the foundation that Jesus is not to be messed with. Okay. Surah chapter 2, verse 285. It says, The messenger firmly believes in what has been revealed to him from his Lord. Who is that? His name is Allah. Let him finish the, 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 the chapter. And so do the believers. They all believe in Allah, his angels, his books, and his messengers. They proclaim, we make no distinction between any uh, messengers, and they say, we hear and obey, we seek your forgiveness, our Lord, and to you alone is the final return. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you read Surah 2, verse 2, 5, 3, it says, we have chosen some of those messengers above others. Yeah. Tell the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that you've gone over the five minutes. Honestly, honestly, honestly you've gone. This is it. This is it. You made the point that Jesus is not messed with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You made the point that Jesus and Muhammad and, and all the prophets. You made that. You made the point that they're all the same. Who made the pro? Who made the point? You made that point. No, I didn't make that point. Okay. See, you were okay. not listening. Okay. 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 That's okay. it. That's it. This Look, uh, honestly, the time. It says. Time's up. It says. Hold on. Hold on. It says. Allah spoke directly to some and raised some high in rank yeah. to Jesus, son of Mary. Yeah. We gave clear proofs and supported him with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Supported him yeah. with the Holy Spirit? Yes. Okay, interesting. Okay. Yes. If Allah had willed, uh, succeeding generations would not I have know the, I know the verses. I know the verses. The clear proofs. I know the verses. <laughs> All right, then. Now. So we'll give now, you six minutes. Yeah. 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 Give me, uh, the, yeah. Well, when I ask you yeah. for the hadith, give yeah. me the hadith. Yeah. Whatever okay. Time, Look. Our yeah. friend in here, our friend in here, didn't answer about John the Baptist being flawless. He didn't answer about the the the, the son. The son does not bear the iniquity of the father. He didn't. Uh, I'm I'm gonna just stick with these two. Ah, and the the other one that that he got baptized. Only sinners. Do got baptized at the time, do, do, um, did get baptized at the time of John the Baptist. He wasn't teaching them because John the Baptist was the one who, who is doing the teaching, who's doing the teaching. Now our friend went to, to Bukhari. What he forgot to say, because his translation of the Bukhari, that's why I asked, what's the number of the hadith? It's not the correct one. He said that he's pricked on two sides, on two sides. The... It means he touches him. He doesn't prick, he touches. And Sahih al-Bukhari in here, that's why I asked. Because as he, I know what he says in Sahih al-Bukhari. Sahih al-Bukhari says, سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. I heard the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم says, ما من بني آدم مولود that there is no a son of Adam that is born except that the Shaitan when the son of Adam is born he comes except that the Shaitan touches him. يا مسه يا مسه مسه it means touched. That's the word in Arabic. It's not breaking or doing anything, but it's touching. مسه now this mess can be interpreted it can be interpreted in too many different meanings but i'll just stick with messiah yeah? and 
حين يولد فيستهل صارخا then he comes out crying and then he says except Mary which he didn't mention except Maryam and her son Maryam and her son both of them they didn't come out they didn't come out screaming and the reason why because in chapter 2 in chapter two, in chapter 3 surah al uh, surah al imran allah jalla wa ala says about the mother of mary she said rabbi inni nadartu laka ma fi batni muharraran fataqabbal minni innaka anta as sami' al alim falamma wada'atha qalat rabbi inni wada'tuha untha wa laysa al dhakaru kal untha wa inni samaytuha maryam wa inni and this is marbat al faras wa inni u'idhuha bika wa dhurriyataha min al shaytan al rajim oh allah i seek refuge in you for her and her offsprings so it was the in quran it was the dua the supplication of the mother of mary that allah has answered for her not to be touched and her progeny is not to be touched by shaitan so it's not something that is out of this world or anything if our friend did his homework in the quran he would have found it now i'll tell you this to add it to your curriculum now the other thing what he said about me that the shortcomings the shortcomings as we said he said vice it's all vice all vice is a sin i have got a vice i like chocolate am i a sinner am i a sinner for her for liking chocolate am i a sinner for lo loving chocolate that's a vice i've got another vice liking chocolate is not a sin yeah oh, exactly. it's a, yeah it's a vice it's a vice it's a vice it's a vice. I cannot spend a day without eating chocolate. Another thing, another thing, yeah? I have got another vice. I have to read Quran every day. If I don't read Quran every day, I feel like something is missing. Is this a sin? I have got a vice that I, every time I do ablution, I have to perform two rak'at. Is that a, is it a vice? It's a vice that I have got. Is that a sin? It's not a sin. So my friend, you have to kind of update. You have to do an up the, what we call it in, in uh, technology. Upgrade, upgrade your, uh, your brain. Yeah. Oh, okay. You have to upgrade okay. your brain. No, 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 you see? No, no, hang on, you say things, no. You say things about me and I kept quiet. So now do not get upset a bit like, the brother told you do not get personal and you said no oh, it's not personal now do not get a bit offended you know i'm just giving you back your own medicine so you don't say that your sheikh is uh, an easy uh... anyway <coughs> so in here so vice not every vice is a sin so he has to to remember that and he said we're talking about imperfections you know each human being has got small imperfections but does that mean that the imperfections are sins no it doesn't mean i tell you what someone who has got the habit of walking into his home or into the masjid with his shoes when the masjid have got carpets is this an imperfection or not there is a shortcoming from that person an imperfection is it a sin it's not a sin so you have to understand what does it mean shortcoming it does not mean sin and even in there in the according to the dictionary in, did you hear sin no. it didn't say sin failure it did failure do things but it did not okay. say sin. sin i was waiting for a exactly. sin exactly. you know he thought that he found the uh, i don't know uh, anyway as to the driving test we yeah that means it's a sin no okay no no as yeah. as to six as to uh, six, six, uh, six, six minutes okay okay six, six minutes six minutes six minutes yeah okay six minutes yeah okay i hope you're gonna answer my questions the ones from the beginning let me answer your question about john the Baptist. okay go ahead so So, you're saying that John the Baptist, you're equating John the Baptist with the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I say that John the Baptist, it is said in the Bible that no one has, has carried anyone as perfect okay. as John okay. the Baptist. Okay. okay, now, 
John chapter, you will bury yourself. John Just go one. ahead. John chapter 1. I'm quoting your Bible. How am I going to bury myself when I'm quoting your Bible? Okay, John chapter 1, verse 27. It says, He it is who coming after me, this is John the Baptist talking, is preferred before me, whose shoe latchet I am not worthy to unloose. Does that sound like the does that Does that sound like... No, hold on. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Does that sound... Like someone on equal standard. I just want you to think about that. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you the answer in my own time. Don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. It's interesting what your and nothing is. that we haven't refuted John before. Oh, don't worry. Right? Look, now, now, check this. Look, look, look what he says also. Yeah, look yeah, go says. on. Hit me with it. Hit me with it. He was a sinner himself. To say that John the Dantis did not see himself as a sinner is incredible. I didn't say right. that. I didn't now, say that. No, no. To say that he's even on the same page as Jesus is crazy. Now, anyway, John, I'm going to give you Bible lessons. John chapter 1. Allah is the one. Verse 29. 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 Listen, behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. How can they be on the same level? It's impossible. So you buried yourself, Shane. Embarrass yourself by saying that John the Baptist is on the same level as Jesus. <coughs> That's up to you. That's, you know, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. The purity of John the Baptist, the purity of, of Jesus is not the same. He says he's not worthy to touch the shoelaces of Jesus. That's what John the Baptist said. Do you guys not understand? John we understand one? perfect. So. We understand I perfect. So. Yeah, the so. Jacks up making you okay. understand. Okay, good. That's good. Okay, so let's look at let's look at the behavior, the character. Forget let's not look at followers no more. When we're talking about this thing about sin and atonement. Let's not look at character. Let's not look at followers. Let's look at character of the founders of the religions. Muhammad versus Jesus. Let's have a look. Because I read um, Look, no, 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 stay with atonement. Don't take me to a different, yeah, do not, no, don't, do not take me to a different, I know where you're going, don't go there, don't go there, stay with atonement, stay with atonement, yeah. I'm calm, just stay with atonement, yeah. So listen to this, did you know that Muhammad cut the hand of someone who stole a shield for a free dinner? Today's money is 66 feet. He cut the hands of the thief. He cut a thief's hand. Do you know this? No. You have to give the reference. No, 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 give, no, the no give the reference. Give the reference. Give the reference. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, so for the people to do their own homework. Sahih Bukhari. 6796. Sahih Bukhari. Narrated Ibn Umar. The Sheikh will notice he was Yeah, 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 here. just just go. The Prophet cut off the hand of a thief for stealing a shield that was worth three dirhams. I said dirhams, right? Yeah, three dirhams, yeah. Today's money, that's 66 p. Okay, yeah, all right, all right. Jesus will never do that. 66, you cut the hand of a thief for 66 p. Remember, 66 p, yeah? Remember, yeah? Oh my goodness. I know, I know what dirhams are. That's that, that's basically silver. Mm -hmm. Three grams. Three grams is sixty-six p. Okay, sixty-six p. Yeah, 66 listen. Don't. You cut someone's hand off. Okay. Is that interesting? Okay. okay. This is why we go back. We go back to the Quran because I don't want to talk on my own. I want to talk about what is supposed to be divine revelation. So let's go to the Quran and let's what it sees. What Are it you? Says. So, Surah 5, verse 38. This is what came out of the mouth of Muhammad. With respect. I'm not 
As for male and female thieves, cut off their hands for what they have done. Theocracy ended with Jesus. Jesus said, you may have heard, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But he says, he says, and it's never an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. So if someone steps you, you turn the other cheek. So Jesus fulfilled the Levitical law, the Deuteronomical law. Now, the, the bit, I think, I'm trying to remember the point you made about um, atonement, and, and I think you asked the question about it. Jesus fulfilled the Levitical requirements for animal sacrifice. This is Leviticus 17, verse 11. For the atonement of soul, there must be blood shed. For the shedding of blood, there is no remission. Give me your hand, please. Okay. Bismillah. Right. Again. I came in here thinking that he's going to talk about atonement. But you see he's going to hand cutting and all that, yeah? First of all, uh, from the end, yeah? Three dirhams uh, is not 66p. For at the time, a dinar is 12 dirhams. A dinar, which is of gold, is 12 dirhams. So he's taking it by today's, by today's. At that time, it wasn't equal 66p. Now, if I just take you back to 40 years ago, gold was with, with silver. They were not that much difference between them. So would you say that quarter of gold of gold is, is equal to 66p? No. So that's, 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 that's out of it. Now, the other thing. He's saying for a shield. Yes, in Islam, it is says, As-sariq wa sariqa faqta'u aydiyahuma. That's nothing. We do not hide it. That's the law. That is the law. And this cutting of the hand, that's the atonement. That's the atonement. And this atonement, better than killing the Son of God. The Son of God. Put in the... Habibi, Hassan Mahi, Allah Arda Alek. So, this is killing, killing the son of God, a God that begets, and when he begets, what he does, all the sinners, imagine, all the sinners, and one son who is the perfect son, the perfect lamb it had to be, he's not even a man, sometimes he's a man, sometimes he's a lamb, sometimes he's, I don't know, I'm lost to what he is. You have to kill this lamb for all these bad, bad people instead of forgiving them. He's mentioned another thing. He said that Jesus came, yes, and he said that he fulfilled the Leviticus law. Now, Jesus said, I did not come back to fulfill the law, what does fulfill mean? That I will not abrogate it, I will apply it. And do you know what? The stoning, where they lied about Jesus that he didn't stone. Jesus, if there was uh, fornication in front of or adultery, he would have stoned. He's a prophet of Allah, he has got to fulfill the law, which is the law of the Torah, the law of the Torah says stoning for adultery or for fornication for them is the same. In Islam is different. Fornication and adultery, they are two different things. However, he says that they used to have the same punishments as in Islam with the Mosaic law and Islam and what Jesus, peace be upon him, has come with, they are all the same. Now I'm going to go to what he says about uh, John the Baptist. John the Baptist saying that I am not worthy of being the shoelace of Jesus. I say to my father, I'm not worthy of being the earth you walk on. I might be better than my father in knowledge. I might be better than my father in status. I might be better than my father in so many things. But it doesn't mean when I say 
that I am not worthy of the floor that you walk on, that it's, it's kind of, but this is out of respect. But anyway, anyway, he talked about the sins, the sins. Remember, he said that he is sinless, sinless. And I said, and I said to him that in the Bible, it says that there is no womb, no mother that has, that no womb that has born someone as perfect as, John the, Baptist. John the Baptist, perfect as John the Baptist. That's in his Bible. He did not. He did not. He went on to say about sins and about all that. Again, he said to me, "I'm saying. I'm not saying anything. I'm quoting his Bible." Yes, as I said, in Islam we do, and it is atonement. Otherwise, you will pay for it in the day of judgment. So the atonement of things you do, and this is, and this is what they haven't got, you see? And this is the problem. You see, in, in Christianity, you can rape, you can kill, you can rape and kill, you can steal, you can do anything. As long as you say, I take Jesus as my savior, you go to heaven. You know, Hitler, he was a Catholic, a Catholic who, according to Lots of historians exterminated still time, exterminated six million Jews plus the millions of other people that he has killed. Where is he according to Christianity? He's in heaven. And you know them Jews that he has killed and all the others that he has killed that are non-Christians, they are all in hell. So for our friend in hell, if I rape a girl, kill her and let's say she's a Hindu girl, yeah? I kill her, I rape her, and I kill her, and I kill her family, but I seek salvation in Jesus. I am going to paradise, and all of them, they go into the hellfire. This is the atonement of Christianity that they want you to believe. I rest my case. Bismillah. <laughs> <coughs> um, Sheikh, with respect, you are brave taking on this topic, so I have to commend you, you're not running away, maybe you will later, I don't know, <laughs> but okay, so, let me get straight to it, what's interesting in what the Sheikh did not say was the truth about the Kaaba stone, the black stone, I was, I was waiting for you to mention it. I've already debunked your claim that John the Baptist <laughs> is, on, is on the same level of purity or the point you made, the point you made that there's no one born like John the Baptist. Jesus is far exceed. I just read a scripture showing you that he said he's not worthy to even touch the shoelaces of Jesus. John chapter 1. Easy. Anyway. Let's get back to the cover stone because this is, if you're Sunni, this is where you get your atonement from. So, Ibn Abbas narrates Hassan, book, book chapter nine, hadith, hadith number. Sorry, I can. If if you wanna t if you wanna stay in, in line, when I finish with him, I can turn to you. Okay. Yeah. It says, Ibn, Ibn, Ibn Abbas narrates it. The Messenger of Allah said the black stone is saved me from the paradise. And it was more white than the than Then it was blackened by the sins of the children of Abraham. Sorry, by Adam, the Adam, of Adam. Adam. Your child of Adam. Your child of Adam. We're all children of Adam. This is your atonement. That the stone absorbed your sins. The stone has proved your sins. Now you say, oh, we're pagans, us, us born again Christians, we're pagans. Is this not paganism? Why am I saying that Muslims today are involved in paganism? Why? Because according to Surah 32, verse 23, because it's going to tell you the Surah is a guy. Uh, say the Torah is a guy. The book that was given to Moses on Mount Sinai, you say that's a guy for, for, the, for the people. You say it's a previous revelation. And Moses and, and, and Muhammad approved of the Torah. 
<laughs> now watch this. So when we go to the Torah that Muhammad approved of, Leviticus 26 verse 1, look what it says. And Sheikh, you're going to see the truth about Islam today. Listen. Luke 26 verse 1, it says, Ye shall make no idols, nor graven image, neither rear you up a standing image, neither shall you set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your God. So in the book of Leviticus, it condemns the worship, the adoration of stones. Leviticus 26 verse 1. So why do people, when they go on Hatch, not Hatch, Hatch, H-A-J-J, Hatch, they go to Hajj, what do they do? They kiss the stone. They fight to touch the stone. Why? Have you asked yourself why? Muhammad accepts the Torah. We have the Dead Sea Scrolls, but you can't say the Torah has been, has been corrupted. You can't say that. We have manuscripts that date back 200 years before Jesus. So you can't say that the Torah was changed. You can't say it. And that same Torah is condemning the, the kissing, the caressing, the honouring of a black stone. Your Kaaba stone. Why do we have Muslims kiss it? Why? It's condemned. It's condemned. That's why we have Quran only Muslims because they understand that the Torah was accepted and the uh, uh, this this thing of going to Hajj and kissing the stones is, is, is pagan. It's pagan. It's pagan. So this is what I'm saying about this question of atonement in Islamic theology. There's a big, big hole. There's many holes in it. Because it doesn't make sense. You accept the Torah, but in Leviticus 26 verse 1, it says, don't make up any stone, don't give any adoration, any worship to the stone. It's an idol. Anyway. No, no, no. Now, 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 like I said, I question, I question the revelation of Muhammad with respect because he's a self-proclaimed prophet. No one prophesied his coming. No one. No one. You can't find him on scripture that prophesied Muhammad. He self-proclaims. Let's establish that now. The reason why I believe it's impossible, it's impossible, yes, to understand how you abrogate your own sin is because when we look at Deuteronomy 19 verse 15, once again from the Torah, he, has, he has said the Torah. It says, by the mouth of two or three witnesses, let the matter be established. So, how do you, why do you trust, if you believe in the Torah, why do you trust? Someone who's telling you about Kaaba or giving you a sense of what Kaaba is. Why do you trust them when there are no witnesses about the claim of his revelation? So, yeah, time. You can add it, add it. Anytime I go over, you can add Okay. Yeah. All right. Anything I go over. All right. Zakallah. Now remember, yeah. Now, so, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. So, so remember, it's okay. Zakallah. Yeah. Barakallah. So remember, the subject was atonement, but he takes us to so many different things, the black stone and that. Now, now, it's talking about the pagans, the pagans. Well, let me let me give him a good lesson from his own Bible. <laughs> Blood, human sacrifice, and that debunks the whole of the Christian belief. That the human sacrifice is a pagan practice. 
And that is, brother, how does it go? I need it to go down. It's in Deuteronomy, it's in Leviticus, it's in Hebrews. That they, that they used to. Yeah, yeah. Deuteronomy. I need to uh, watch it for it to upload. Someone got the time? Is you, anyone who burns his son or who's... Someone got the time? Don't worry about the time. There shall, not be, there shall not be found among you anyone who burns his son or his daughter as an offering. Anyone who practices divination of tells fortune or interprets omen or a sorcerer. So there should not be. Now sacrifice, I don't care if it's burning or blood or anything, but we're talking about human sacrifice. A human sacrifice by blood or by any other means, it's a pagan practice. And the Lord of the Israelites, the Lord of Moses, the Lord of Abraham, the Lord of Jesus, the Lord of all of them, did not allow it. Actually, he's called it abominable. Now, this stops all what the Christians have been saying that we need the blood of Jesus. As I said, he didn't answer before that someone who kills and he does all the things that none should do still goes to paradise just because he believes in Jesus. And yet the people that have been killed, the innocent that have been raped, killed and hard done by, they go to hell. What is the justice in here? What is the God's justice in here? Is this justice? Is this justice? If you kill someone, as he's saying, if you kill someone, it doesn't matter how many Hajj you make. How many times you circumambulate the Kaaba? How many good deeds you do? You will still be held accountable before Allah on the day of judgment. This is, it doesn't absolve you. It does not absolve you. If you have done something which our friend, he puts himself as if he is so knowledgeable about Islam. And he says that he is an expert in Christianity that he knows the Bible inside out. I challenge him to give me four books after the Septuagint, to name the four books after the Septuagint. And don't look up, don't look them up now. Four books after the Septuagint, I challenge him to read them out to me. Now, in Islam, as I said, if you, there are types of atonement, Tawbah. A Tawbah has got conditions. The condition is that you regret what you have done. You make a zeal that you will not go back to what, to, to what you have done and to repent from it for good. However, this is, should be, that's how the Tawbah, but this is between you and Allah. That's, for example, if you haven't done Ramadan uh, without being ill or anything, that you were missing prayers when you were at a certain time or, 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 or things that you did. However, if you wrong someone, unless that person forgives you, you will not be forgiven. And on the day of judgment, you will still be held accountable. You will still be held accountable before Allah for wronging that person. So you see, in Islam, it doesn't mean that you make atonement, you touch the black stones, as he says, or that. As to the black stones, Umar radiallahu anhu said, as in the hadith, he says, I know that you are a stone. You do not benefit or harm. You are a stone that does not benefit or harm. Had I not seen the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kissing you, I wouldn't have done. So we know that that stone does not forgive and cannot harm us. And anyway, in Hajj, does everybody kisses it? In Umrah, does everybody kisses it? No. This is one thing. The next thing that he mentions, uh, the, the next thing he mentions, that it blackened because of the sins. Now, blackened of, because of the sins, it doesn't mean that it absorbed the sins. It doesn't mean that it absorbed the sins. 
Allah Jalla wa Ala talks about the heart, that there are dots that come on the heart and they kind of make the heart locked. Does that mean that the heart is really locked? If we open someone's chest, are we going to see dots or blackened dots? No. But as to the, in a metaphoric way, it became black from the sins. It doesn't mean that it absorbed the sins. I don't know if it's six minutes, but I'll, I'll let you... Uh... Hitler was not a Catholic, he was born a Catholic. Hitler was not a Catholic, he was born a Catholic, he never went to church. He never it doesn't matter, he was baptized as a Catholic, so he's a Catholic. He's a Catholic. He's a Catholic. He's a Catholic. Join the queue, yeah, you're next. Okay, so... Stay here, go the queue. So the problem, the problem with Islamic theology is it does not deal with the book of the Christian It does not deal properly with the book of the you have an answer? No, let me finish. I'm answering these questions. Just take time, just take time, just take time. Now, I'm answering your question about the blood. Because I want to address this thing about the blood because it's very important. Leviticus 17 verse 11, this is dealing with this question about the blood. Why do we need the blood? Human sacrifice, why, why, why? Okay. It says, and remember, just remember this, that Muhammad approved of the Torah. Five books of Moses, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Now I'm going to go to Leviticus, one of them. Yeah. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I've given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your soul. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. So, in the days of Abraham, this was what we call substitutionary atonement. If you're, if you as a Muslim or any Muslim believes, or the Sheikh believes, that he is a child of Abraham. Abraham is his father. If you believe that, then you have to believe in the Torah. You have to believe it. Why? Because who is the God of Abraham? Don't engage with him. Don't engage with him. Don't engage with him. Don't engage the with them. You are you are with me, not with them. Yeah. yeah. So your question should be to me, not to them. Isaac and Jacob, right? So the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, says the life of the flesh is in the blood. You should be believing in substitution of atonement. You should. Be. How do you deal? How do you deal with atonement? How do you deal with getting rid of your sins? You believe in working your way to salvation. It's like bribing God. But God is perfect. What can you offer God? What can you offer? Him? Nothing. This is why a perfect God would give you the gift of salvation. The fact that you're in His presence is a gift. The reason why we have this thing of the blood is because of the seriousness of sin. Sin is a big problem in this world that we live now. Sin is a big problem. Stealing, killing, uh, lusting, adultery. These are problems. Dishonoring mothers and fathers. This is a problem in our everyday society. So God has made a way, it's called theocracy, where he is administering right, the governance of Israel at that point in time in nation Israel. And he was the one talking to the priest. That was his system. Talk to the priest and then they talk to the people until they want the kings. Until they want their own. And that's where we get King Saul, then King David. But the blood, because there's life in it, it would replace the seriousness and the issue of sin. Now we know this, it, it, it doesn't, no, no, but listen, anyway. We know that as soon as Adam and Eve sinned, God did something about it. I'll show you. Genesis chapter 3, verse 21. It says, 
unto Adam also and to his wife, did the Lord God make coats of skins and clothes. So as soon as Adam and Eve sinned, after he found out that they committed uh, and they disobeyed God, which is one of my sins. A list one of these is uh, a is no, open, 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 open. So to say that a wife is not a transgression, it's crazy. That's what Adam and Eve done. I tell you what, it is. Question to the Muslims. Oh, it's Question to the Muslims. Google. Google. Where is the name of Adam's wife in the Quran? Where is it? You can't, you can't find it. So, no, it's not time yet. I'm looking at the time. That's not, that's not one. I got about two. I got about a minute and a half. I'm looking at the time. Leave, leave him, please. Just leave him. Okay. So we also see that Jesus is the Passover lamb. Jesus fulfilled the law. He fulfilled it. So, Exodus chapter 12. If you don't believe in this, then I don't believe you. You've got anything to do with Abraham. So, Exodus 12, verse 13. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. So, the Passover, if you don't believe in the Passover, then you have nothing to do with Abraham. When God saw the blood, I think it's it's time, yeah. It's time, it's time, it's time. And Jesus is the fulfillment. Right. You see, I came here, I came here, I came here for the atonement. He talked and talked and talked and talked and talked and talked and talked, but I've seen, I've seen no atonement. I have seen absolutely no atonement. You know, it's 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 preaching. You know? The the question remains, the question remains as follow blood sacrifice according to the old testament it's a pagan practice it is a pagan practice for god to say and remember if he says that it is not then remember according to him as a trinitarian the god of the new testament is the same god of the old testament so he can't run away from this one and the god of the old testament has said that it is abominable and he says that it is a sin a sin and it is a pagans so jesus himself who he believes is god said about it that it is a pagan practice then jesus comes and he puts himself on a cross what he says he says that he will says that he was willing to do it jesus before before the day before he got crucified he was in the, the garden of uh, Gethsemane, praying to his father, saying, take away this cup from me. Which cup is this? Which cup of this? The crucifixion. Even when he was on the cross, he was saying, Eli, Eli, lima shabaktani. My Lord, my Lord, why did you forsake me? So in this, which atonement he's talking about? One minute he says he came to fulfill. He came to uphold, to uphold and fulfill. Uphold, did he uphold it? According to them, no. So who am I gonna believe? Jesus or I'm gonna believe someone who says God is three? Jesus never said God is three. Jesus said the Father is greater than I. The G Jesus said, I'm going to my father and your father, my God and your God. So this is, this is someone he's talking about atonement. Which atonement? Which atonement where there is no justice? Someone who is, who is innocent, innocent girl can be raped and can be killed. But all you have to do turn to jesus and and you are and you are free that's it that's it well when you're well when your sister or your little daughter get raped 
yeah? Then, and the rapist go to, 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 and she goes to hell, then say amen to Jesus. <laughs> you know? But this is, this is, you see, this is the mentality. That means you can rape, you can kill, you can do all of this, but you are going to, you are going to paradise. So you see the mentality? You see the mentality? This is the mentality of killers. This is the mentality of this is the mentality of killers, of oppressors. This is the mentality that enjoy the killing and the oppression and the oppression of others. You see them? Leave them, leave them. But this is what I'm showing you. This is the mentality. As I said, I came here. Am I lying? He's going to bury him. What I'm saying. I'm natural death. Brother, brother. Leave him. Leave him. And that is just according to them. So that's okay. It's sensible. Yeah. So, so in here, in here, as I said, a God, a God that couldn't even help himself, is he going to help me? No. A God that was crying for an entity more than him, higher than him, is he going to help me? He couldn't even help himself. He let Jews spit on him. He let them taunt him. They even, he even was crying for water. He, he stayed, he stayed, he remained for 40 days. 40 days like Moses, and we know that Moses, when he was in the, in the mountain of Tor, he stayed 40 days without food or drink. And he was like, like him, he went in the wilderness for 40 days. Then, within two days, or within a day, what, two days? Within a day, a few hours, he was thirsty. And he could, this God that is knowledgeable, he did not even know that the, there was vinegar in the water until he tasted it what kind of a god that is gonna forgive my sin is this a god but in islam alhamdulillah all you have to do you turn to allah in repentance in repentance and you say oh allah i repent listen listen Listen. All you see, no. None of my Muslim brothers did disturb you, yeah. So tell him to shut up then. So in Islam, in Islam, in Islam, Alhamdulillah, you make your. If you sin, you turn to Allah in repentance, and Allah Jalla wa Ala will forgive you. As I said, depending that you did not transgress against someone else. For that, you need their forgiveness before the forgiveness of Allah. For this is the justice of Allah. However, if you don't get that forgiveness in the, in the, in the, in the, in the life, you will have to pay for it in the hereafter. This is justice. Not that you just believe in someone and do whatever you want to do, kill, rape, steal, do whatever you do, and then you are, you are absolutely free. I don't believe in a God who is unjust, a God who was unjust with him, his so-called son. He was unjust with him as he put him, he let him to the people to humiliate and uh, do whatever they wanted to do with him. Okay, now, <coughs> my turn to listen. <coughs> uh, listen, stick to them and uh, I'll, let it be, I'll give you one more. No, you answer this, yeah, and, and the next one and that's it, we're finishing, yeah, because I'll be needing to go, yeah. Okay, okay. So, Galatians chapter 5, so I'm going to address, because the way he's going on, it's almost, almost sounding like when Jesus died on the cross, it's a license to sin. And I'm going to address that now. So, Galatians 5, yeah, verse 18. Let me go to verse 18. Galatians 5, verse 18, 19. But if ye be led of the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now, the works of the flesh are manifest. Which are these? Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, 
variants, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Of the which I tell you before, as I have told you in some time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Where do you get your theology from? I do not know. To say that dying on the cross is a license to sin is a lie. And God, through the Holy Scripture, I thank the Lord for Holy Jesus, because he's embarrassed your claim. He's embarrassed your by the fruits you shall know them. Now, also, let's, let's, let's laser focus a little bit more. Thank the Lord for all you do. Narrated, listen, narrated please, by Abu Harai. Please, please, yes, Zayed please. Yeah, this is Sahih Abu Hari. No, 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 I don't need it. Book 34, Hadith 105. Listen to this. Allah's messenger was asked about the slave girl and then she was a virgin and committed illegal sexual intercourse. The prophet said she committed illegal sexual intercourse. Listen to what he requested. Lash. And if she did it a second time, then lash her again. And if she repeated the third time, listen to this. Then sell her even for a hero. Sell her for a hero. Ibn Shabib said, I do not know whether to sell her after the third or fourth offense. See, they were confused. They were confused. Now, clearly. I'm going to go and address some of the points you made. Well, this is not atonement. You're talking this about, you're no, talking no, no, about, you're talking about punishment, not no, atonement. No, no. Okay. You see, you're not talking no, no, about no, atonement. No, you're no, going no, somewhere no, else. No, no. And I'm going to address what you said. That's what, I, 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 yeah, I'm, that's what he keeps saying. No, no, you are not addressing. You are not addressing. Please don't try and I'm addressing. I'm not running away. Just address the no, subject no, at hand. We're addressing. Atonement. It's not. It's not. It's not. What is atonement in here? What has it got to do with it? What it's got to do is the fact that today, right, today, even by today's standards, we know that that's not, we shouldn't do that. If Muhammad is the seal of all generations, if he didn't require atonement, then it would be okay throughout all generations. Look at the character of Jesus. What he did, how many years ago, even before Muhammad, we're even still clapping and applauding, and applauding him now. We're applauding Jesus now, but we're not applauding Muhammad. Why? 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 That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So, when we talk about rape, you mentioned something about rape. I addressed that in Galatians 5. And I hope you understood that. That you don't bring that kind of thing up. We're very strict as Christians against sin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's be very clear. <coughs> so, let me get back to the matter of Hamlet. I'm almost done. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. I know it's been tough, but it's okay. If you're, if you're a Christian, you don't go to heaven. Mm -hmm. So even if you believe in Jesus, yeah. it but, means... But, but, <laughs> no, 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 it's no, 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 you talk, 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 you carry on, talk, it's a contradiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, but it's, it's, it's a different anyway, thing, you will see, you will see. If in Naras, this is, um, this is once again Hadith. Book number nine, Hadith 155, with Hassan, Ray Hassan. He says, look at this, this thing about the uh, black stone. You, I know you tried to make it out almost like the black stone isn't what absorbs the, the sins of the children of Adam in 45 seconds. Now, I got one in there. Ready? Now, let's go there. Let's read. Let's listen. He says, the messenger of Allah says about the stone. By Allah, Allah will raise you once again this stone that you're told and instructed in Leviticus. 26 verse 1, which Muhammad approved of in Surah 32 verse 23. Torah is a previous revelation. 
By Allah, Allah will raise it on the day of resurrection with two eyes by which it sees and a tongue that it speaks with, testifying to have to have to whoever touched it in truth. Now you see, now see bones right now. Why people kiss that stone? They want to touch it. Now you know. This is why. This is why. This is why. This is why. Because it will testify on judgment day. This is the Muslim atonement. Now you compare that. No, no, this is the bracket. This you compare that. With the Passover Lamb of Jesus. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Now, now again, Come on. again. It's talking about. I don't worship. He's talking about sending me to this and the other, but he did not. He he quoted Galatians, yeah. Paul, he's quoting Paul. But does it say? Does it say? Uh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Mark. All right. Does it say in there that the believing in Christ does not absolve you? It doesn't say that. You see. He's telling you that this and this and this and this, all these kind of sins, they are to send you to the hellfire. They won't allow you to enter the kingdom of God. But if he says that a Christian that does them, yet and believes in Jesus and he does not enter the kingdom of God, then Christianity has finished. He's finished himself. He's finished himself. A Christian that believes in Jesus, but and in the crucifixion, in the blood as salvation, and he fornicates, will he go to heaven or hell? Are you asking me? Yeah, I'm asking you, will he go to heaven or hell? Ask the question again. A Christian who believes in Jesus and he accepts Jesus as his own savior, yet that Christian fornicates, yet that Christian, yet that Christian uh, uh, does with, with, with her and and and, and. Yeah. will he go to heaven or hell? Of course. Yeah. Of hell. course, hell. Hell. hell, hell, and he believes in Christ. He died. He be no, no, no. He, he believes in Christ. Oh, so, hang on, hang on. You see what they have done? You see what they have done? You are finished, my friend. You are finished. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Listen, you rat. Go away. Focus, 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 shake. I don't want to talk to this uh, rat face. You know. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't talk to me. Better not to talk to me. You, you, you know me from last time, so do not talk to me. Right? Yeah. The one who hit me last time. So do not talk to me. Do not talk to me. Now, now, I, I'm saying to them, they admitted that a person who believes in Christ and he believes in the salvation by the blood of Christ, if he sins, he's going to hell. He's going to hell. So what good does what good does believing in Christ does you? What good does it do you if you still gonna go to hell? What does it do you? I rather believe in. You don't follow the tenets of Islam. You go to hell. The question is, you still can't. What logic is this? No, let him finish. Let him finish. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. I'll stop him. I'll stop him. But go ahead. I'll leave him. I'll leave him. But say, finish what you're saying. What, what Islam teaches. You're going to hell. So as I said, and I'm not gonna repeat it again, you just admitted that a Christian that believes in Jesus and believes that a Christian that believes Brother, 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 just leave him. Just leave him. Leave him, brother. It's a waste of space. Time. Have you seen how this heckler has been heckling me? At any time. Yeah, no, no, not a problem. I'm, I'll be short. So, again, that a Christian that believes in Jesus, believes in the blood as a salvation, believes in that Jesus is the only, is the way to God. Yeah? This person, if he fornicates, he goes to hell. So what good does Jesus do this person? What good does it do him? So that means that if you commit a sin, you will go to hell. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah for Islam. All you have to do, hey, Christian visa, shush, 
He's a, he's a Christian. You know, these people, he's a still a Hindu, but he's still a Hindu by belief, you know? Oh, well, shut up, you. Listen. You Do you want me to call him to give you a slap of gun? I will do you want me to? I will do Pleasantly, I will slap you back. I will slap you back. Listen, 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 listen. 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 Listen, this is, this is, this is stop air, this is stop air. What's, what's, what's he saying? No, no. What's he saying? That idiot, that idiot. Them two, yeah? Them two. Oh, yeah. Them two. Right. 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 Listen, 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 listen. We'll continue another day. No, 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 no. No, no. Yeah, you're up. up. You're up. up. Let me just at least respond, yeah? Because, you see, I was no, between me and you. Yeah, we I don't, fine. I don't, we I don't like them, them two. Just, yeah. Okay. We're gonna, <coughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, Look, I, I want to wrap it up, yeah? Can you stop no, I stopped it, please, stopped yeah? it. I stopped it. I stopped it. I stopped it. All this. Hmm. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. Yeah, yeah. So, um... Right. Okay. Come, come, it's okay. come, it's okay. come it's here. Okay, it's okay, man. I know, I know. It's okay, it's okay. Let's just come down. He knows what happens to him when he comes to me. He knows what happens to him when he comes to me. He knows he's going to get slapped. Don't worry. Yeah. Let me just. Um... Look about the subject, as I say to you, yeah? For me, for me, as I explained to you the way of Islam, yeah? That a sin has got repentment, yeah? So you repent to Allah. However, if you have done other people wrong, you have, you still cannot be absolved of that sin unless they forgive you. Otherwise, on the day of judgment, you have to pay for that sin. Okay? So that's the position of Islam. And in Islam, you see, because you've been taking me away from that. In Islam, there are two things. There's major sins and minor sins. So the minor sins, them are, them are atoned by giving, uh, for example, by prayers, by giving uh, alms and so on. Major sins, they need repentance. And I mean a true atonement, yeah? Place on the Christians. Get place on the Christians on judgment day. Okay, okay. Here's a question. Okay. And place your sins on him. Okay. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay, guys. And the Christian sins. Do you want to discuss? Do you want to discuss the hadith with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to discuss the hadith with me? Then wait. Then wait. No, he didn't mention the hadith. I know what hadith you're going for. That's the whole point of your point, isn't it? Is it just? No. Are you? Do you wanna? Do you wanna discuss the hadith with me? It's on the same topic, isn't it? No, on the same topic. Wait for your turn. When I finish with him, then. Why well, he didn't mention it? So why are you on? Why are you on about? Yeah, yeah. You can mention it now. You can He's mention not mentioning it. it now. Why should I mention something he didn't mention? So why don't you mention it? All right, now, 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 Galatians 5, verse 22. Okay, I want to make it very clear. And this will make this the last because I'm uh, tired. Are you, you're almost done. Yeah, yeah. No, no you're, not, you're, not, you're not running away. You're no, I'm not oh, running away. Okay. Why should I run away? Okay, no, okay. All right, okay. Yeah. Now listen, Galatians 5, verse 22. Galatians 5 verse 22, it says... What's up? Christian. What's going on? No, no, he's asking you. Hold on. Galatians 5 verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. So you were making a point that you know those that have Christ right that have sex outside of marriage they do sin they die that grace is a waste of time grace is not a waste of time we need grace we don't want the judgment of God but listen to the message it says if we live in the spirit let us also walk in the spirit let us not be desirous of vain glory provoking one another envying one another quote him paul 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 no, paul this is not this is not just um you quote him paul. Paul, paul no but no 
But no. Okay, but it's, okay, let me just. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. You don't listen, like Paul. listen. I don't no, like it's Paul. not that I don't like Paul. But it's, Listen, listen. I'm what listening. did what did Jesus say? What did Jesus say? What did he say? That the way to the Father is through him, isn't it? Isn't it? So what does it mean by through him? Sorry, what does it mean that through him? Just make your point. I'm, I'm just no. What does it mean through him? I'm asking you a question. Word. I'm, don't worry. I, I, I know the answer to the question. I'm just looking, yeah. I'm looking for something. So, but yeah. So anyway, so I want us to just focus on what what, what I just read. Okay. So let me just quickly read something else as well. Real quick. Okay. So now, the difference. What what I've, what I've been trying to highlight to you yeah, is that as as Christians, as born as a born again Christian, we hold sin in high regard and we, we, we actually detest it the fact we in fact jesus says if you look at a woman with lust you've committed adultery in your heart i know i know so that's the highest standard so we believe in monogamy one wife one husband huh? i know you have a different view to that. no i don't have a different view i can answer you but for anyway, that i know more than i can answer you for that i can answer you for that but anyway but it says in it says in uh, Hebrews chapter ten verse twenty six. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins, but a, fair, a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation, which shall devour devour the adversaries. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Of how much sore punishment, supposedly, shall he be thought worthy who have trodden under foot the Son of God and have counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing and have done despite unto the Spirit of grace? All right. So, so if, you, if you're looking at the blood of Christ as something menial or minor or, or pagan, you are in danger of hellfire. You is a human sacrifice? No, is a human sacrifice no, no. a pagan practice or not? A human sacrifice is it? Is it? A, is it a pagan practice or not? Human sacrifice. It's yes. Not, wait. So is it? Is it? A, look, it's a, it's a simple. It's a simple question. Okay. So. You're saying human sacrifice in the sense of burning. Listen, not in the sense of burning. A human sacrifice. Suicide, suicide. Listen, give, give, no. Give more context. What do you mean a human sacrifice? When someone commits suicide, is he making a human sacrifice? Making a human Tell sacrifice? Me, I don't know what you're Listen, about. do not talk. L listen, I, I thought I, I no, gave no, no, you no, credit, no, so do not. Do no, not no, 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 no. Okay, I'm not trying right? to be rude. I'm not trying so, to be rude. So, but you've been rude in that no, way. No, you're saying human sacrifice. Listen, a human sacrifice. What does, it, what does it mean, sacrifice? A human sacrifice. No, no. Meaning to put a human to sacrifice. No. It's not. No, so, so, Jesus so, was not. Was not a sacrifice. No, listen, 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 listen. You said the sacrificial okay. lamb. Oh, no, you no, no, said no. the yeah. sacrificial lamb. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Get listen. the pagan gods. Listen, get the gods. Listen, that are first, pagan. firstly, firstly, the Messiah. The whole point of the Messiah. Listen, I've asked you a question. Is a human sacrifice? Is a human sacrifice a pagan practice or not? Okay. In regards to Jesus, no. Is a human sacrifice a Regarding pagan Jesus, practice or not? A human? Jesus. Is Jesus a human no, or not? I've your okay, question. okay. I've no, 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 no. You didn't answer my question. You can't say Jesus a human is a pagan. Okay, okay. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. In your who, own Quran, who was, it who says was, he who was, was sinless? Who was? It so doesn't say that he was sinless. It what doesn't do say he was sinless. What does it say, pure yourself. son? No, I didn't, I'm not embarrassing myself. You said, you said sinless. You said sinless. No, you're not okay. going to teach me what is in my it's Quran. It's sinless pure. Quran does say it's sinless. No, 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 what, what, he's embarrassing himself. Oh, it's, it's sinless lie, pure. Man. But you're lying to the prophet. You're lying to the prophet. Just embarrass yourself. You respect Quran. Jesus that much, Quran. so you're lying to the prophet. Like Quran. That. I said, I am, it's I'm pure. telling you, it's no, it doesn't mean that you're pure. No, no. 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 who else has been sinless? 
What does it pure? What does it mean pure? What does it mean pure? You say pure and sinless. That's two different things. Two different things. All the children of Adam. Yeah, and I and I and I explained to you and I explained to you. I even told you. Okay, and I even told you what it means. What it means. You brought something which is. That's dishonest. No, that's not dishonest. You say sinless. You say sinless. You saying sinless. What's Okay, 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 well, wait for me, wait for me, wait, well, wait, I'm gonna answer, I'm gonna answer. Now, the mother of Jesus, is she sinless or not? According to the Bible? According to your creed, is she sinless or not? I believe, mm -hmm. We're going, yeah. Yeah, I believe she's, I believe she's sinned. She's sinned. You see, according, if I go by your, by your thing, the in the Bible. Quran, the no, no. If I go by you saying in the Quran, yeah, or the Hadith, about about him not being touched by the uh, by the by Satan, she was not touched by Satan in the same problem. book of Bukhari. Well, That's so do not. Well, I can't tell you it's not my problem either because you're trying to put, you're trying to make Jesus being sinless, being sinless. In according to the hadith, but when I say to you about Mary in the same hadith that she also has not been touched to say that's not my problem. Why would I be talking anyway? Anyway, about anyway, I'm talking about anyway. Well, it's it's talking, about listen, everybody is for, for uh, the, the, uh, listen, listen, Jesus, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. They are they are waiting for me, so they, they are waiting for me. I have to go. No, I say to you. Didn't I say to you that we have to finish before? I did say that to you, yeah? So, subhanaka, subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik, nashadu an la ilaha illa ant, nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik. So, one of the big... Um, one of the big I issues here. Give, yeah, yeah. I need to give back yeah, yeah. these. Yeah. Let me wrap up. No, 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 Are you a slave? Maybe one day, two day, Are you a black slave? slave? What? Are you a black slave? Are you a slave? No, I'm free. I'm a son of God. I'm a son of God. I'm a son of God. Huh? Uh, I don't know about uh, Sam. 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 Who's the Sam. Who's the Who's the Who's the Who's the Who's the you died a black slave. Prove it. Wake up. Prove it. You're a black Prove slave, Muhammad. You're a slave to the Hamid. Yeah, of course we are. When Akubaka, when, when Muhammad died, 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 what did he say? Can you give the others there? Are you a slave? What did he say? A black slave. Wait, 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 wait. Wake up. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. You know, you know, you know about the Negro Bible. You know, they would give you a Bible. Yes.